I'm Lance Hedges with the Nature Conservancy. I'm the Director of Conservation and we're here at the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve today. This is in the uh, Flint Hills, the eastern part of Kansas and is uh, one of the last representations of Tallgrass Prairie in the United States. Burning of the native prairie has taken place for literally thousands of years. Today, uh, fire is used uh, very extensively in the Flint Hills uh, for livestock production. And so uh, it, here in Chase County, where we're at, about 90% of this land, uh, these pastures are annually burned. Uh, that usually occurs in April. And uh, typically what the, the purpose of that is it provides this green, uh, lush, very nutritious growth uh, for cattle. And so uh, cattle are moved in to these pastures uh, right about the same time and uh, they can put on a tremendous amount of gain uh, every day. Uh, so fire is very important for maintaining these prairie ecosystems. Uh, and so it's not all just about the economics of cattle grazing. Fire controls woody vegetation and it is probably the main tool that's used today to control woody invaders. So in addition to the importance of fire for the ecology of the, of the Flint Hills and the eastern tallgrass prairie, too much fire can be a detriment as well. I'm Paula Mattia with the Nature Conservancy. I'm a conservation specialist here in the Flint Hills. Burning in Chase County has taken place um, and, and throughout the Flint Hills for a long, long time. Primarily, the ranchers burn here for cattle games. Uh, once that green grass comes in and the cattle get put out on the pastures, they can gain approximately two and a half pounds a day. So it's, it's, it's a big economic uh, incentive to burn out here by the ranchers. The Prairie Festival has been going on for, for several years now. Um, the community uh, came up with the idea because a lot of outside folks and, and visitors were interested in, in the burning that the ranchers do in the Flint Hills. So it is really geared toward um, uh, community members and, and visitors that are not familiar with fire. So a lot of it is, is educational, explaining to folks why fire is important out in the, in the Flint Hills. And so every night of the week, they have a little talk at Emma Chase's Cafe downtown, and they do have other activities scheduled throughout, throughout the day, uh, one week a year during this annual spring burning time. It also gives uh, photographers, uh, painters, those folks a chance to actually see fire and get out and, and do some work. I guess if you were watching a, a video about this, what would you think is the most representative thing of uh, the prairie burnings in general? Like, what would you want to see in a video? Hmm. Fire. <laughs>